Professor Appenstall, I wanted to say something in the class, but the bell rang. Yes, what is it, my dear? Well, in your lecture you were talking about quality of education. But it seems to me that if someone went to one of the Ivy Leagues like Harvard or Princeton, that they would be well educated. And why would that be necessarily so, my dear? Because the people who get into places like Harvard or Princeton are the brightest and smartest people in their class. Ivy Leagues only accept the best students, and their acceptance rate is very low. So it would make sense that these schools would be the places where you could get the best education. My dear girl, what you are saying may or may not be the case, but it is most assuredly not for the reasons you present. You are evidencing two errors in reasoning. The first is that of division or whole to part, where you are saying what is true of the whole must be also true of its parts. In this case, you are saying that because highly regarded universities, such as Harvard or Princeton, are considered world-class universities in terms of their educational quality, that indubitably, the students that attend these universities must likewise be well educated. Your second error in reasoning is called composition or part to whole, which is a logical fallacy which says that what is true of its parts is undeniably true of its whole. Even though it is true that these universities generally admit the brightest students, these students may or may not avail themselves of their innate intelligence. These Ivy League schools have not earned their reputation just because their students are some of the best and brightest. There are in fact many determinate factors which make these universities what they are. And it is most assuredly not merely the comprisal of the brightest and smartest students. It is likewise the case that students do not necessarily obtain a superior education just because they attend an Ivy League university. To be certain, these universities include some of the world's most elite professors, yet this certitude neither ensures the professor's competency at conveying information nor the student's ability to exercise diligence in obtaining a preeminent education. Perhaps you are right, Professor Appenstall. I have never considered these things. This is apparent, my dear. You should consider taking an introductory logic course. It would be of great value to you. I have always felt confident of my ability to think and reason well, and so I have not considered this. Well, my dear, you might want to put it on your list of requisite classes. Perhaps Professor Appenstall, but there are many classes I want to take, and since I have a natural ability at reasoning, I will have to wait and see if I can squeeze that class in. Very well, my dear. Clearly, you will do as you see fit.